We want to start off by thanking everyone for joining us today. We would like to acknowledge that we are in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. We would like to thank John Lohr, our MLA, and Cody Blois, our MP, for all their hard work throughout the year. We want to thank faculty, families, and friends for all their efforts during these trying times. Most importantly, we want to acknowledge and celebrate the graduating class of 2021. My name is Jamal Raki. And I'm Christopher Peach, and we are honored to be this year's valedictorians. What an odd high school experience it has been. But odd isn't always bad. In fact, the changes that have occurred within our lives over the past few years have shaped us to be the complete opposite. Our generation is likely to become one of the most resilient groups of people that have ever walked this planet. The graduating class of 2020 and 2021 have endured challenges unknown to many. We isolated ourselves for the protection of our communities. We missed out on key high school events, such as sporting events, spirit events, festivals, concerts, trips, and just being with friends in general. But these challenges made us stronger. As Robert H. Schuller once said, tough times never last, but tough people do. As classrooms and in-person learning turned into Google Classroom and online classes, and back to in-person classes again, we adapted. We continued to work hard and became stronger because of it. Look at where we are. We demonstrated resilience throughout the year. We persevered, and now we have successfully graduated. As we came together in either grade six or grade nine, I don't think anyone expected the high school experience we would have. As Canada's very own Drizzy Drake says, time flies. I remember my grade eight middle school teacher telling me that high school will be over in a blink of an eye. I think I can speak for everyone by saying she was right. I say this as a reminder to cherish every moment because years really do begin to feel like blinks. We all live different lives with different experiences, but the one thing we can find peace in is knowing that we all went through these experiences together. And that together peace is so important. We all came from different backgrounds. As we are thrown into this big, but beautiful, but scary world, at times it is bound to get lonely. But we know what loneliness looks like because of COVID-19. Through these stay-at-home orders, we have learned to become resilient in any challenge life throws at us. And we are resilient to whatever changes may come our way in the future. I could go on a tangent about how this is just one chapter of our lives that is coming to a close, but you already know that. I would rather refer to our lives as a movie, not because of the silly drama that makes high school intriguing or the jokes that make people smile, not even because of the conflicts and solutions that arise, but because of the time. See, books can take a long time. Movies don't. You can watch a movie in one sitting, and life is just one long sitting. As we move forward with the rest of our lives, make your movie Oscar worthy. Preferably not a horror movie, but make your movie fun and worth watching. In grade nine, our priorities were a little bit different. Not only were we learning academically for the first time, but we were learning about ourselves. It was an awkward, mysterious scene in this film. In grade 10, well, that was the year a lot of us could wish we could just skip through, but we learned a lot. As we moved into grade 11 and began to see ourselves as the main characters, COVID-19 took away our opportunities to shine in some of the best scenes of our lives. However, it also gave us new opportunities to show our strength and resilience. We shouldn't let missed opportunities discourage us. In fact, it should encourage us. It should encourage us to make up for lost time and memories. We were the class that navigated new technology, unprecedented circumstances, and thrived. Despite at times feeling like the class that survived, we continued to push through many challenges and unknowns with grace and hope. Although people may try to put a stamp on us for being the second class that graduated during COVID, let it not be the sole reason we are remembered. Instead, let us be remembered for the class that had thrived 
thrive during a pandemic and beyond. The class that will solve the climate crisis. The class that finally teaches the world that black lives matter. The class that teaches Canada to cherish its heritage as two nations in one of indigenous and non-indigenous peoples who honor and respect millennia of indigenous culture and history. The class of leaders, the class of workers, the class that values people of all backgrounds, the class that closes political and economical gaps. Let our resilience define us and not this pandemic. At the end of the day, that movie of all the things our generation is going to get right is a movie I want to watch. That is the movie that the NECA graduating class of 2021 will star in. That is the film that would be of overcoming challenges, of success, and of resilience. It would be one of hard work, determination, and procrastination. I can't think of a better cliffhanger than leaving an assignment until the last minute. We don't just get to make our own film, though. We impact other people's lives. We are characters in other movies. Understanding that is so important. Having empathy as we move forward with our lives is a simple yet essential step in making the world a better place. Our, cho our choices can be like stone thrown into the ocean. Even the tiniest stone makes a ripple. Even now, we see choices from generations past that have affected us today. We have inherited previous generations' issues, and we need to be able to solve them. In the 2018 United Nations Summit for Climate Change in Poland, they stated that we are the last generation that can stop climate change. We also need to follow Roy T. Bennett's advice to do what is right and not what is easy. We have been challenged all throughout this year and throughout our lives, we will continue to rise up to any challenge thrown our way. Thank you for taking the time to share and celebrate our moment with us today. We could not have done it without the support of staff, family, and friends. To the Northeast Kings Education Center Class of 2021, we did it. We are now taking on the world as titans starring in our own movie. We wish you all the best and know that great things are in store for each and every one of us. Congratulations, Congratulations Class of 2021.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Kevin Vino, and I am the proud principal of Northeast Kings Education Center. Welcome to our 20th annual graduation ceremony. I would like to acknowledge that this school is situated upon traditional territories. We are in Mi'kma'ki, which is the traditional ancestral territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I would also like to recognize the enduring presence of our Aboriginal peoples on this land. This was not how we expected to celebrate our 2021 graduates when we started the school year, but we have done the very best job possible to make sure that each graduate will have a be celebrated as they receive their diploma. Thank you all for coming to join us in this celebrating a significant accomplishment and a major milestone in the lives of our children. This celebration recognizes the achievement of each and every one of these graduates. We extend a warm Titan welcome to you, family, friends, and guests who are watching from afar and for the few spectators that we have here on site. It is a sincere pleasure to have you all here today with us during this celebration. Your very presence in this celebration is a, an acknowledgement of the love and your support of the efforts and successes of at least one individual in our graduating class of 157 students. I must also welcome our staff family that is surrounding us here at Northeast Kings Education Center who are sort of behind the scenes or working at one of our greeting and organizing stations so that they can witness the culmination of their efforts and their passions for teaching and learning. It takes a village to raise a child, and we certainly have a great village of staff at our school that mentor and support each and every one of our students. Today, we are very proud to celebrate the successes of each student in the graduating class of 2021. As each student is called forward, we will be honoring them with their graduating diplomas, as well as acknowledging students who have achieved honors or honors with distinction status, or have received special certifications, subject awards, Titan awards, and possibly scholarships and bursaries. At Northeast Kings Education Center, we consider it our mandate to encourage our students to be strong community citizens. This includes being positive school citizens, demonstrating good leadership, in a proud Titan spirit. We acknowledge that achievement today by awarding our prestigious Titan pens. We award pens or points to every student based on their involvement in extracurricular activities and on their academic achievements during their entire high school career. There are three levels of awards. For earning 100 points, they receive a bronze Titan. For 150 points, a student receives a silver Titan and for more than 200 points, a student receives a gold titan. Subjects awards will also be acknowledged today. They are presented to the student who has made significant contribution to a course, not necessarily the student with the highest mark or grade, but rather one who has contributed to a very positive class climate. A student who has a strong work ethic, work ethic a positive attitude towards his or her learning, and an overall great citizen. We will also announce any scholarship or bursaries that a student has received. Many of the scholarships presented acknowledge high academic achievements and hard-earned success of our students, but there is also scholarships and bursaries which not only bring to light students' academic achievements, but celebrate their contribution to our school and surrounding communities. All of these additional recognitions that I have mentioned are wonderful but I need to emphasize that today's primary reason for this celebration is for recognizing each and every one of our students who are receiving their high school diplomas. We hope you enjoy our graduation ceremony. It seems only fitting that a brand new Canadian citizen is the first graduate of the 2021 graduating class, graduating with their high school diploma, nor Abdiakim Abdirazak. <laughs> Noor is also part of our student support worker program and is wearing his kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Come on up and take a picture, folks. Don't be shy. 
and nor at this time could you move your tassel from the right hand side of your cap to the left hand side of the cap signifying going from candidate to graduate you have become the first first official graduate of the 2020-2021 Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations. <laughs> Folks, if you want to get on the stage and to get a picture with Noor, come right up. Congratulations, Noor. <laughs> Graduating honors with distinction, Brett Anderson. Just wait a second, Brett, for those folks to get out. And Brett, while you're surrounded by the family, could you please move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying candidate to graduate. Congratulations, Brett. <laughs> High school graduating diploma honors with distinction, Elwin Anderson. Elowin is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate. She has also received the Silver Titan Pin Award, and she also has received her silver in the Duke of Edinburgh. Elowin, at this time, could you please move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, signifying graduation. Congratulations on your graduation. Thank you, Ella.
All right, Rachel, you can come forward. Just stop there, Rachel. I'll let folks get parked so they can get out. Graduating honors with distinction, Rachel Ansoms. Rachel is also receiving the Dalhousie University Dow Bond Bursary, valued at $500. She's receiving the Wilf Carter Memorial Bursary of $1,000. She's receiving the Francis Hugh Bell Scholarship in Science for $4,000. She's receiving the Dalhousie University Renewable Bursary, valued at $5,600. And she's also receiving the Dalhousie University Renewable Entrance Scholarship, valued, valued at $20,000. Congratulations, Rachel. Rachel is receiving the Dalhousie University Dow Bound Bursary valued at $500. She's receiving the Wilf Carter Memorial Bursary valued at $1,000. She's receiving the Francis Hugh Bell Scholarship in Science valued at $4,000. She's receiving the Dalhousie University Renewable Bursary valued at $5,600. And she's receiving the Dalhousie University Renewable Entrance Scholarship valued at $20,000. Rachel, can you please move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side of your cap, signifying going from candidate to graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations. Folks, if you want to come up and get a photo, let's do that. All right, congratulations, Rachel. Congratulations, Rachel. Jeremy, come on up. Hold tight right there, Jeremy. For, hold tight for a few seconds. I'll announce you, then you can go grab that. Graduating with honors, IPP, Jeremy Atwood. Yep, go right up in center, Jeremy, and stand. And turn. Let these photos be taken. And Jeremy, as you're surrounded by loved ones, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left? 
signifying you going from candidate to a official graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Jeremy. Ethan, if you could come forward, please. Get out of the car, okay, Ethan? And we'll announce you. Looking great. Come right up, folks. Don't be shy. Graduating honors with distinction, Ethan O'Coin. Congratulations, Ethan. And Ethan, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side, that will signify that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ethan. High school graduating diploma with honors, Lee Baldwin. Lee is also receiving her options and opportunity certificate. And folks, if you want to get up on stage with Lee to get that family photo, please do so. And we'll get a photo of the candidate. And Lee, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left signifying you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations. Stop right there, Bree. Awesome. You look lovely. We're just going to wait for you folks to get out of the car and get out there, and then we'll announce you, okay? And you'll grab the, your certificate when you come out, Bree. Pick up your certificate and go to the center of the stage and look pretty, okay? And smart. Folks, come on up front. Don't be shy. Graduating with honors, Brianna Barkhouse.
And you can take your masks off. And Bree, if you could move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left. You now have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations. High school graduating diploma, Victoria Barkos. <laughs> Victoria is also receiving the East Kings District Women's Institute Bursary valued at $200, the Port Williams Health Auxiliary Bursary valued at $300, the Royal Canadian Legion Habitat Branch number 73 Bursary valued at $500, the Acadia University Residence Scholarship valued at $2,500, the Acadia University, the Raymond E. Ivany Merit Award, valued at $2,500, and the Acadia University Renewable Scholarship, valued at $4,000. Congratulations, Victoria. And folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage and get a photo with Vic, that would be wonderful. And Victoria, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate. Congratulations, Northeast Kings Titan grad. Graduating with their high school diploma, Mr. Logan Beckwith. <laughs> Come on up on stage, folks. We get a photo there with Logan as he turns from candidate to graduate. And take the mask off. And Logan, while you're surrounded by loved ones, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying that you have officially, with emphasis, graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Logan. Graduating with honors, Ms. Mackenzie Bellin. <laughs> Mackenzie is also receiving the subject award for being our top student in Law 12. If you'd like to get a family photo, come on up on the stage with Kenzie. Take the masks off. And we'll get a picture of that special moment. And Mackenzie, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Thank you, folks. Mm -hmm. 
graduating with honors, Tanea Benedict. And if you'd like to get on the stage to get a picture with Tanea, Tanea, as you're surrounded by loved ones, if you take that tassel and move it from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate. Congratulations, Titan Grad 2021. <laughs> Graduating honors with distinction, Sadie Benjamin. Sadie is also receiving the Subject Award for Human Biology 11, the Royal Canadian Legion Habitant Branch Number 73 Bursary valued at $500, an Acadia University Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,000, and an Acadia University Renewable Scholarship valued at $10,000. Congratulations, Sadie. And Sadie, if you would like to move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap, to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, alumnus. Thank you, Sadie. <laughs> Graduating with their high school diploma, Emily Bennett. Emily is also receiving the Acadia University Renewable Scholarship valued at $2,000, an entrance scholar bursary from Acadia valued at $2,000, and a resident scholarship from Acadia University valued at $2,500. And Emily, if you would like to move that tassel from the right-hand side of your to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Titan. Graduating honors with distinction, Taylor Bennett. <laughs> Graduating honors with distinction, Taylor Bennett. Taylor is also receiving the University of King's College Entrance Scholarship valued at $9,250. Congratulations, Taylor.
And Taylor, now that you're surrounded by loved ones, if you could take that tassel and move it from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying candidate to graduate. Congratulations, Titan grad, Taylor Bennett. Graduating honors with distinction, Leah Bent. <laughs> Leah is also receiving the subject award for Math 12 Academic, a subject award for Psychology 12. She's also receiving the Principal's Choice Award, as well as the Northeast Kings Education Center Council Bursary valued at $250 and an Acadia Entrance Scholarship with Renewable Scholarship valued at $11,500. Congratulations, Leah. <laughs> Folks, if you'd like to get on the stage to get a picture with Leah. And Leo, while you're surrounded with loved ones, could you please take that tassel and move it from the right-hand side to the left, signifying candidate going to graduate. Congratulations, Titan grad Leah Bent. Graduating honors with distinction, Lily Berry. <laughs> Lily is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate. She's received the Subject Award for Chemistry 12. She's receiving her Bronze Titan Pen Award, a Northeast Kings Education Center Yearbook Editor Award valued at 250, a Kenful Lions Club Bursary valued at 500, and Lily has received a renewable entrance scholarship from St. Mary's University val valued at $28,000. Congratulations, Lily. Come on up on the stage and get a photo with that lovely lady. And Lily, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying that of candidate to graduate of Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations, Lily. Graduating with their high school diploma, Mr. Austin Blinnis. And Austin, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying you are officially a graduated from Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations, Titan. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Rodden Bona. Rodden is also receiving the Frank Momberkett Memorial Bursary valued at $200. Congratulations, Rodden. And folks, if you want to come on up. 
and Rodden is so keen to get out of here, he's already moved his tassel from right to left. So congratulations, Rodden. You are officially at a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Great job, Rodden. Graduating honors with distinction, Hannah Boswell. <laughs> Anna, Hannah will also be receiving, hopefully, the AP Capstone Certificate once we get those grades back in July. She's receiving the Subject Award for AP Research 12. She is a Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizen Award recipient. She's received the St. Mary's University SMU SA Opportunity Bursary valued at $20,000 and the St. Mary's Renewable Entrance Scholarship valued at $24,000. Congratulations, Hannah. And folks, if you'd like to get on the stage and get a picture with your new grad, and you can take your masks off. And Hannah, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Hannah. And Jaya's entourage is on their way over here. And a very proud moment receiving her high school graduating diploma, Jaya Brewster. And if you'd like to get on the stage and get a photo with our new grad, take those masks off and come on up and let's get that photo. Don't be shy. And Jaya, as you're surrounded with loved ones, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate. You are an official alumni of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations. Everyone here, Chantel? Okay, beautiful. Graduating with honors, Chantel Brown Hart.
And Chantelle, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. You are our newest Titan alumni. Congratulations. Graduating honors with distinction, Rajay Brown. <laughs> Rajay is also part of our student support worker program and is wearing his kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Rajay is also receiving a subject award for English 12, another subject award for Global Geography 12. He is the recipient of the Lieutenant Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizenship Award. He is also receiving the Sir Frederick Borden Scholarship, a St. Mary's University Award valued at $2,000, and he has just been notified that he's getting the Sobe National Innovator Scholarship from St. Mary's University valued at $50,000. <laughs> On top of that, two nights ago, Rajay was the NSSAF Major Award winner for Scholar Athlete, so he has... All the, all the qualities of being that all-around young man. So congratulations, Rajay. Folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage, get a photo with the, our newest graduate. Yes, and we've asked if we could keep Rajay, but I think he's on to bigger and better at St. Mary's. And Rajay, while you're surrounded by loved ones, if you can move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate, congratulations, grad, Rajay Brown. <laughs> Graduating honors with distinction, Kate Burris. Kate is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate, a Subject Award for Chemistry 12, a Subject Award for Physical Education 12, a Dalhousie University Entrance Renewable Scholarship valued at $16,000, and two nights ago she was crowned Senior Athlete of the Year for our school. Congratulations, Kate. And if you folks would like to go up on the stage and get a picture of your newest celebrated grad. And Kate, if you could move your tassel from right-hand side of the cap to left, signifying that of graduate, you are now the newest graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Kate. Graduating honors with distinction, Alina Bush Anderson. <laughs> Alina is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate, her Duke of Edinburgh Silver Medal. She's also a recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizenship Award. And she's also received a Bishop's University Entrance Scholarship valued at $5,000. Congratulations, Alina. Folks, if you want to go up on the stage and get a picture of your daughter, or you with your daughter. Very proud moment. And Alina, if you could move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left to signify candidate to graduate. Congratulations, Alina, our newest graduate from Northeast King's Education Center.
we're good? Oh, beautiful. Joel, good, looking great, buddy. Proud moment when you went from not that work is done to I have to work hard. You really turned things around. So congratulations. You taught him in that little bit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're gonna wait till you folks get parked and get out here, and we start. We're a couple minutes ahead of schedule, so we'll put you in the holding pattern to make up for some time. Do you sing? <laughs> so we're three and a half minutes ahead of schedule, so we'll, we'll hold for another minute or so. And we'll give a few extra photos up on the stage with you and your loved ones, and we'll get right back on schedule. May I present Mr. Joel Churchill graduating honors with distinction. Joel is also receiving the St. Mary's University Renewable Entrance Scholarship valued at $24,000. Folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage, get a photo with your newest grad. And Joel, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side, signifying going from candidate to graduate? You are officially the newest alumni of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Joel. Graduation, graduating with honors, Emma Clark. So our honor student is also graduating and receiving her options and opportunity certificate. And if you'd like to go up on the stage with Emma and get that photo. <laughs> One of the perks of graduating outside.
And Emma, while you're surrounded by all those loved ones, why don't you move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying that you are the newest alumni of Northeast King's Education Centre. Congratulations, Emma. All right, Jules Entourage, come on up front. Stay right there, Jules. Just wait till they get up. Don't be shy. Come on up front. This is a special moment, so get as close as you can. Graduating with honors, Jewel Cogswell. Folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage and get that picture of that special moment. And Jewel, before they leave, if you could move a tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate. You are now officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Anyone else want to come up for photos? Those flowers should be given to the graduate. <laughs> Congratulations, Jewel. Well, one more photo. We have time, no worries, folks. Our school has a family feel, and we want family to be involved in graduation. Congratulations, Jewel. Folks, you want to come out? Okay, here comes Grandpa. Graduating with honors, Olivia Collins Rand. Olivia is also receiving her Options and Opportunity Certificate and the Royal Canadian Legion Habitat Branch Number 73 Bursary valued at $500. Congratulations, Olivia. And Olivia, while you're surrounded by loved ones, could you move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying that of graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, newest graduate. Graduating with honors, Gordy Collishaw. <laughs> Gordy is also receiving his Options and Opportunity Certificate 
as well as the Nova Scotia Tourism Human Resource Council Culinary Tourism Scholarship valued, valued at $1,000. Folks, if you want to come up on the stage, get that special moment recorded. And Gordy, while you're surrounded with loved ones, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying that of graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Gordy. I would like to hand over the microphone to Mr. Ian Campbell, one of our administrators here at the school. He's going to call out Mrs. Vino's homeroom class. Mr. Campbell? Slight mechanical adjustment needed. <laughs> the first student will be celebrating uh, from Mrs. Vino's homeroom, new high school graduate, honors with distinction, Ella Camo. Ella is also receiving a subject award for African-Canadian Studies, a subject award for Law 12. Ella has also earned the Bronze Titan Pin Award. She's also receiving a Northeast King Student Council Bursary, valued at $250. Ella has the King's Local NSTU Scholarship, valued at $600. And Ella has also earned a Dalhousie University Entrance Scholarship valued at $750. Congratulations, Ella. <laughs> Loved ones, if you'd like to come up to get some photos. And Ella, if you want to take a moment to move the tassel from the right-hand side to the left, indicating you are now an official Titan graduate. Congratulations. And our next Titan will be celebrating, graduating with his new high school diploma, also earning honors with distinction, Riley Camo. <laughs> Riley also has earned the Mike Croto Memorial Award, valued at $500. And two nights ago, Riley was celebrated as one of our Senior Athletes of the Year. Congratulations, Riley. Family, if you'd like to come up for some photos. And Riley, if you want to take a moment to move the tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, indicating 
that you are now a graduate. Congratulations. Congratulations, Riley. And our next graduate to celebrate, graduating with her high school diploma, also earning honors, Abby Connolly. Come on up on stage, family, if you'd like some photos. And Abby, if you want to move the tassel from the right-hand side to the left, indicating moving from candidate to graduate. Well done, Abby. Congratulations. And our next Titan to celebrate, earning his high school diploma with honors, Jacob Corbin. <laughs> Jacob is also proud to be earning an honors and, or sorry, an options and opportunities certificate, as well as the Babe Sarsfield Memorial Bursary, valued at $500. Congratulations. And while your family is coming up to join you, Jacob, if you want to move the tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, indicating you are the newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. And now we're ready to celebrate our next student earning her high school diploma, also earning honors with distinction, Olivia Cruikshank. <laughs> Olivia has also earned a French immersion certificate. She's also been awarded the Kingsport Community Bursary valued at $500. And Olivia's also been granted the Royal Canadian Legion Habitant Branch Number 73 Bursary, valued at $500. Congratulations. And Olivia, if you want to move the tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, indicating you are our newest Titan graduate.
It's okay, Justin. And our next student to celebrate earning high school diploma, Justin Cuevas. Congratulations, Justin. And Justin, if your family would like to join you for a photo, you can take a moment to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, indicating you are now an official Titan graduate. And now we are ready to celebrate our next Titan graduate, earning his high school diploma, also earning honors with distinction, Mr. Rave Cuevas. Congratulations, Rave. If your family would like to join you, you can move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left, indicating that you are now our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. And now we are ready to celebrate earning her high school diploma, also earning honors with distinction, Isabella Davidson. <laughs> Isabella has also earned her French immersion certificate and she has an Acadia University Renewable Scholarship Valued at $8,000. Congratulations.
while your family's going to join you on stage, Isabella, if you want to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left. That indicates that you are our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. And our next Titan earning high school diploma, Ashley Dodwell. <laughs> Ashley has also earned her Options and Opportunity Certificate. Congratulations. And Ashley, if you want to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left, that will indicate that you are our newest Titan graduate. And our next Titan earning his high school diploma, Carson Dorian. And Carson, while your family is joining, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, you are now our newest Titan graduate. Well done. And our next Titan to celebrate, earning his high school diploma. Come on up, Jason Dominey. Come on up, family. And Jason, while you're surrounded by loved ones, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side, you're now our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations.
<laughs> Not a problem. And with the family ready to celebrate, our next high school graduate, also earning honors with distinction, Owen Donnelly, come on up. Yeah. Owen has also earned a subject award for Global History 12. Congratulations, Owen. Oh, and you have quite an entourage. Feel free to come on up. And Owen, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side, indicating you are our newest Titan graduate. Any other family like to join him on stage? Our next student earning a high school diploma, Garrett Eaton.
Garrett has also earned an Options and Opportunities Certificate. Congratulations. Garrett, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side of your hat, you are now our newest official Titan graduate. Congratulations. Any other family like to join him on stage? No? And the next Titan will be celebrating, earning his high school diploma, David Ellis. <laughs> David is also part of our student support worker program and is wearing their, his kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. And David, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side of your cap, it is official. Our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations, David. And now we celebrate the Titan earning his high school diploma, also honors with distinction, Gavin Ennis. <laughs> Gavin has also been given a subject award for Co-op 12. He has earned a subject award for Housing and Design 12 and another subject award for Physical Education 12. Gavin's also been awarded the Most Outstanding Student Award by Serenity Funeral Home, valued at $250. He's also been awarded the Kingsman Club of Kenfield Bursary, valued at $1,000. And Gavin has a University of Prince Edward Island Academic Excellence Award, valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Gavin. Oh, not so fast, Gavin. And Gavin, while you're up there, please move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side of your cap, indicating our newest Titan graduate. Well done, Gavin. And our next high school graduate to celebrate, also earning 
honors with distinction, Hayden Ennis. Congratulations, Hayden. And Hayden, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left to join Gavin as our newest Titan grads. And our next Northeast Kings Titan earning high school diploma, also earning honors, Mr. Brody Finnegan. And Brody is also being awarded a subject award for Global History 12, congratulations. And Brody, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side, indicating you've moved from candidate to graduate. Sounds like people are ready to celebrate our next Titan graduate earning her high school diploma and honors, Alyssa Fitzgerald. <laughs> Alyssa has also earned her Options and Opportunities Certificate. Congratulations.
Come on up, family. No need to be nervous, just be proud. Our next high school graduate earning her high school diploma, congratulations, Janiah Flynn. Janaya, while your family is with you, if you'd like to move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left, you've done it. You're our newest Titan graduate. Well done. And our next Titan graduate earning his high school diploma with honors, Fred Freeman. Fred is also being awarded a subject award for AP Computer Science. And Fred's being rewarded with a Centerville District Community Development Association bursary valued at $500. And Fred also has a Queen's University Admission Scholarship valued at $3,640. Well done, Fred. And Fred, after a few photos as a candidate, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side, you can now get some photos as a graduate. Well done. You ready? Our next Northeast Kings Titan earning his high school diploma, Mr. Renard Gajahar. And Renard, while you're there, if you'd like to move that tassel from the right-hand side 
over to the left-hand side of your cap. You are now our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. Okay, Kaylee, now it's time to be proud. Our newest Titan High School Diploma Earning Graduate, Kaylee Gertridge. Come on up. Great job, Kaylee. While your family's coming up, you'd like to move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side. It's official. You're our newest Titan graduate. Well done. And our next Titan to celebrate earning his high school diploma, IPP, Brandon Godding. Congratulations. And stay there, Brandon, while your family joins you for some photos. And Brandon, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side. You're now a Titan graduate. Well done.
And our next Titan earning her high school diploma and honors with distinction. Congratulations, Lauren Golding. And Lauren might get another cheer for this, earning the Nova Scotia Equestrian Federation Educational Bursary, valued at $2,200. Well done. Lauren, while your family's joining you, if you'd like to move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side, you are our newest Titan graduate. Well done. And our next Titan to earn her high school diploma with honors, Jelani Gosman Odinga. Congratulations. <laughs> Jelani is also part of our student support worker program and is wearing her kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Well done. Jelani is also earning her French immersion certificate as well as a subject award for English 12 African Heritage. And Jelani also has earned a University of New Brunswick Ward Chipman Founder Scholarship valued at $500. Well done. And Jelani, while your family is joining you, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap over to the left-hand side, you are our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. Graduating honors with distinction, Faith Grant. Faith, 
Faith is also see, receiving a subject award for Design 11, a second subject award for AP Art 12, and Faith has also received an entrance scholarship from Acadia University valued at $1,500, and then a renewable scholarship from Acadia University valued at $8,000. Congratulations, Faith. <laughs> Folks, if you want to get up on the stage, get a picture of that special moment with Faith. And Faith, while you're surrounded with all those loved ones, why don't you move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, signifying you going from candidate to graduate. You are our newest graduate for Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations. Get another photo there. Congratulations, Faith. After I call your name, you will. Okay? Relax, okay? Graduating honors with distinction, David Graveline. <laughs> David will also be receiving his French immersion certificate for, for completing our immersion program here at Northeast Kings. David, if you could move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left. That officially means that you have graduated from Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations, Titan. Everyone here, Truman? Yep, beautiful, beautiful. Good to see you, buddy. High school graduating diploma, Truman Graves. Folks, if you do want to get up on the stage to take a picture with David, that would be great. Sorry, Truman. <laughs> and Truman, while you're surrounded with loved ones, if you could move the tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side of your cap, signifying going from candidate to graduate, you are the newest alumni of Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations, Truman. Did you get all the credit? <laughs> Everyone here, Nick? All right. High school graduating diploma, Nicholas Hamilton.
And Nicholas, while you're up there, if you can move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side of your cap, you have just officially graduated among your loved ones, and you are the newest alumni member of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Nick. We really don't want Kismet to leave, so we're just going to stay here a few more seconds just to bask in her glory. Are you sure there's 18 credits in there, Mr. Batstone? 17, you say? Uh-oh. Graduating honors with distinction, Kismet Hartland. Kismet is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate. She's receiving a silver Titan pin for her involvement with extracurriculars here at our school. She's also receiving our Northeast Kings Education Center Yearbook Award, valued at $250. She's received a universe, or Cape Breton University Canada Games Volunteering Scholarship, valued at $1,000, and a Campaign for Kids Bursary, valued at $2,000. Congratulations, Kismet. And Kismet, while you're surrounded by loved ones, if you could take that tassel that's on the right-hand side of your cap and move it to the left, that signifies you going from candidate to graduate. You are the newest graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Titan. We have a couple of minutes before we're going to be honoring our next graduate. So we'll just hold tight for a couple of minutes and then we'll get going. While we have some dead air here, I'd just like to send a great thank you going out to all of Northeast King's Education Center staff that have looked after all of our stations as our students enter the school parking lot. They are hit with a welcoming committee, which tells them where to go in the parking lot. Then the parking committee meets them and congratulates them and gets them in the queue. 
which sends them over to our staging committee, which gets our grad out of the car to bring them over by foot to our start. And then our parking attendant committee informs the, parker or the parents and families where to park. And then we get everyone out in front of the stage before we uh, do our final graduation piece and give them their diplomas. Following that, the students move on to our swag uh, committee where the students get a swag bag of things that have been fundraised by community members for them as mementos for the graduation before our cheering party sends them back out onto Baines Road and, and back home. So thank you all staff for the great job that you've done today and in the last couple of days prepping for us to send off all of our students with a sensational graduation ceremony. I would also like to give a big shout out to our technical crew that organized this event in terms of Mr. Connor and Ms. Helms and uh, Mr. Crosby and Mr. Seymour and then all of our student reps that are out there helping us with Phoenix and Lauren and all the camera crew that we have streaming this video across the entire world. Uh, great job, top notch, could not be any better. So thank you very much for those efforts. And we would also like to thank our people behind the scenes from Student Services. We have uh, Amy Garland and Carrie Rand, our counselors that have been organizing things. And before them, Kelsey Schofield and Rachel Lehman, who have put everything together and have quadruple checked everything so that it runs as smoothly as it possibly can. So thank you to all of you. Michael, your entourage is sh sparing no expense. Come on up front, folks, right in front of the stage. Michael, stop right there. Graduating with honors, Michael Hatt. Michael is also receiving the Sharon Sanford Education Scholarship valued at $1,000. Surprise. <laughs> Folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage, our lovely assistant there, Erica, will take some photos for you. Not yet. No, I'll, I'll cue you for that one, Michael. Michael, as you're standing there surrounded by loved ones, if you'd care to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left 
signifying you going from candidate to graduate. You are the newest graduate of Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations. Graduating honors with distinction, Aaron Havercroft. Aaron is part of our student support worker program and she is wearing her kente cloth showing pride in self, race, culture and ancestry. Erin also hopefully after she receives her AP research mark in July will be an AP capstone certificate recipient. Erin has also received a subject award for math at work 12 and Erin is a recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizen Award that's being presented on the 28th of this month by our Lieutenant Governor. Congratulations Erin. Mom and dad, if you want to get on the stage. And Aaron, if you would care to move your tassel from the right hand side of your cap to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate, you have officially become the newest alumnus of Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations. Graduating honors with distinction, Ophelia Hebb. <laughs> Ophelia is also receiving the Olympic Chapter IODE Memorial Scholarship valued at $2,500. Congratulations, Ophelia. If you'd like to come up on the stage and get a photo with Ophelia, this would be a great opportunity for you. Ophelia, if you would care to move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Ophelia. The Hennessy entourage, come on up. Don't be shy. Graduating honors with distinction, Lucas Hennessy. Lucas is also receiving the Acadia University, the Annapolis Valley Muslim Community Scholarship valued at $500, an Acadia University Residence Scholarship valued at $2,500, an Acadia University Entrance Bursary valued at $4,000, and an Acadia University Renewable Scholarship valued at $4,000. Congratulations, Lucas, on those successes. Lucas, come on back. Family, we'd like for you to come on up if you'd like to get a photo with Lucas as he about to graduate. A 
So we'll get that first photo with Lucas as a candidate. Actually, no, officially, Lucas has moved his tassel to the left side by himself, and he has now officially become a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Lucas. All right, let's get some more photos. All right, congratulations, Lucas. Come on up, folks. Graduating with honors, Hunter Hillier. Hunter is also receiving the Options and Opportunity Certificate. He is receiving a Subject Award for English Communications 12, and he has also received the St. Joseph's Council of Catholic Women's League, valued at $200. Congratulations, Hunter. <laughs> Folks, if you'd like to go up on the stage and get a picture, Erica can take some photos for you. And Hunter, while you're surrounded by loved ones, if you care to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Our newest graduate for 2020-2021, Hunter Hillier. Graduating honors with distinction, Noah Hillier. If you would like to get some family photos, come on up on the stage right now and Erica will help you out. Noah, as you're surrounded with that lovely family, if you care to move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center, our newest alumni, Noah Hillier. Congratulations. Good finish, strong finish.
graduating honors with distinction, Emma Jane Hockley. Emma Jane is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate, and she has received an Acadia University Renewable Entrance Scholarship valued at $8,000. Congratulations, Emma. And Emma, if you'd like for your family to come up on the stage and get some photos, this is a great photo opportunity for them. And we can do it in several stages if you'd like. We have the time. We want to get some other people up there on the stage? Don't be shy, it's a big stage. It held me, so it will hold all of you. And Emma Jane, while you're surrounded by your lovely family, if you care to move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying going from candidate to graduate, you are the newest graduate of Northeast King's Education Center 2020-2021 grad class. Congratulations, Emma Jane. Graduating Honors IPP, Nathan Holt. Nathan is also receiving his Career Access Certificate. He's receiving a Subject Award for the Co-op 12 course and also a subject award for his Career Access Math 12 program. Congratulations, Nathan. And Nathan, while you're up there with your loved ones, if you care to move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, and with your grandmother, get that wonderful photo of the newest graduate from Northeast King's Education Center grad class. Congratulations, Nathan. All right, Emmeline. Graduating honors with distinction, Emmeline Huntley. <laughs> Emmeline is also receiving a subject award for Global Geography 12. She has received the Donald Sinnott Scholarship valued at $240. And she has received an entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University valued at $3,000. Congratulations, Emmeline.
And Emmeline, while you're surrounded with your lovely family, if you would care to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying that you have become the newest graduate of Northeast King's Education Center 2020-2021 grad class. Congratulations, Emmeline. Good. Congratulations. Awesome. You look great. Get some photos there before of the candidates. Haven't graduated yet. Graduating with her high school diploma, Thea Huntley. Thea has also received a St. Mary's University Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Thea. And folks, if you'd like to go up on the stage and get a picture with your newest graduate, and we can do it in stages if you'd like. You just take your time and figure it out. And Thea, while you're surrounded with that lovely family, if you could care to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying that you have gone from candidate to graduate, and you are the newest graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Thea. Graduating honors with distinction, Aaliyah Jackson. <laughs> Aaliyah is part of our student support worker program and is wearing her kente cloth showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Aaliyah has also received an Acadia University Renewable Scholarship valued at $8,000. Congratulations, Aaliyah. <laughs> Folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage and we'll take some family photos with Aaliyah as she's becoming our newest graduate from our school.
And Aaliyah, while you're surrounded with that lovely family, could you take your tassel and move it from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying that you have gone from candidate to graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, newest grad for the 2020-2021 grad class. How you doing, Liam? Good, good to see you. Well, you're the only one that had a bow tie so far, so you're rocking it. Well done. <laughs> Paparazzi. So let's we'll get the camera set up and we'll get started here, okay? Graduating with their high school diploma, Liam Keats. <laughs> Liam is also going to be receiving a Titan bronze pin for his involvement with extracurriculars during his grade 10, 11, and 12 school year. Congratulations, Liam. <laughs> and Liam, while you're surrounded by that lovely family, if you could care to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left of your cap, signifying you going from candidate to graduate, you have become the newest graduate of the 2020-2021 grad class of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Liam. Graduating with honors, Lauren Key. <laughs> Lauren
Lauren will also be receiving her French Immersion Certificate for finishing up our program here at Northeast Kings, and she's also receiving a Subject Award for Art 12. Congratulations, Lauren. And if we want to get a family photo with Lauren, if you want to come on up on the stage. I think you need to have that lay on there, Lauren. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. And Lauren, while you're surrounded by that lovely family, if you care to move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, you have officially become the newest graduate from the graduating class of 2020-2021 from Northeast Kings Education Center. Congratulations, Lauren. All the family gets out here, and everyone got their cameras out, so we're ready to go and filming, and then we'll announce you. And then Ariane, once you announce the name, then grab your diploma, walk to the center of the stage, hold it for photos, and we're going to allow family to come up as well for photos. So just relax, got all kinds of time. All right, cameras look good. Graduating with honors, Ariane Kendrick. All right, family, if you'd like to get up on the stage and get a picture with your newest daughter who has graduated. No crying aloud, Mom. Do we want anyone else to come up? Stay up there, folks. Stay up. Don't have to hurry. Take your time. Take your time. Relax. We have lots of time for Ariane. And Ariane, while you're up there with some loving family members, could you please move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying you going from a candidate to a an official graduate of our graduating class of 2020-2021. Our newest grad, Ariane Kendrick. Congratulations, Ariane. It's a beautiful butterfly, Fiona. It's special just for you. Graduating honors IPP, Fiona Kim.
Fiona is also receiving a subject award for our Learning Center Music Program. Congratulations, Fiona. Make sure you have those masks off. And Fiona, while you're surrounded with your loving family, if you could move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, that signifies now that you have officially gone from candidate to a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Our newest grad for the 2020-2021 grad class, Fiona Kim. Graduating honors with distinction, Jalea Curtin. Grab your diploma and go to the center of the stage and hold it in front of you. Jalea is part of our student support worker program and is wearing her Kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Jalea will also be receiving her Options and Opportunities Certificate. She's also receiving a subject award for Math Essentials 12. And she's also a recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizenship Award that's being presented by the Lieutenant Governor virtually on the 28th of this month. Congratulations, Jalea. We'll get one more family photo up there. And Jalea, while you're up there, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate, you are the newest graduate, graduating student from Northeast Kings Education Center's 2020-2021 grad class. Congratulations, Jalea. Graduating with his high school diploma, Adrian Kohler. And if any of you out there would like to get a picture with Adrian up on the stage, this would be a great time to do that. I'd like to inflict as much pain on you, Adrian, as possible before you leave our school, since you've inflicted some pain on some of our staff over the last few years. <laughs> we respect that and appreciate it, Adrian. And yeah, take the mask off. Adrian, you take your mask off. Oh, no, you don't have one on. <laughs> And Adrian, while you're surrounded with that lovely family, if you care to move that tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying you have now become the newest graduate of the graduating class of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Adrian.
JC, we're just going to wait for everyone to get out of the cars and get ready here. And then we'll, when I announce your name, JC, just grab your diploma and then walk up to the center of the stage, hold it in front of you for photos. And then we'll also be calling family to come up as well, take some pictures with you as well, if you want that to happen, okay? All right, buddy. You're looking great. You look like a graduate. All right, the entourage for JC, we want you to be front and center, so come on up and get in front of the stage. JC, just hold on. Let them get there first. No, 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 come on back, come on back. Let them get there first. We want them to have the best seats in the house and the cameras out ready to film. All right. Graduating with his high school diploma, JC Lee. And after you got those individual photos, if you'd like to go up on the stage and get a picture with JC, and take the mask off because you're in your family bubble. JC, while you're surrounded with some loving family members, if you care to move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap. Nice swing. You have officially gone from candidate to graduate. The newest graduate from Northeast King's Education Center 2020-2021 grad class, JC Lee. Graduating in absentia today from our grad class, Gerald Callback. Ready, Riley? Okay. <laughs> Starting off Mr. Newberry's homeroom, graduating with her high school diploma, also earning honors with distinction. Congratulations, Riley Lindemann. <laughs> Riley is also being awarded the Jenny White Scholarship, Halls Harbor. Fundyview Community Society, 
valued at $1,500. Riley also has an entrance scholarship from Acadia University valued at $1,500 and a renewable scholarship from Acadia University valued at $8,000. Congratulations. And Riley, while you're there with your family, if you'd move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side of your cap, you are our newest Northeast Kings Titan graduate. Congratulations. And our next Northeast Kings Titan to celebrate earning his high school diploma, Mr. Josh Lockhart. Josh is also part of our Native Student Advisor Program and is wearing his graduation sash showing pride for self, race, culture, and ancestry. Family would like to join him on stage for some photos. And Josh, if you want to take a second to move that tassel over to the left-hand side of your cap, you are now our newest Titan grad. Well done. And we are now ready to celebrate a new high school graduate earning honors with distinction, Hayden Long. Congratulations. And Hayden, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side, indicating you are now a Northeast Kings Titan grad. Well done, Hayden.
Sarah, are you ready? <laughs> I've been ready, right? Our next Northeast Kings Titan graduate earning her high school diploma and also honors with distinction, Sarah McDougall. Sarah has also earned a subject award for Physical Education 12 for her involvement in extracurricular activities and clubs in our school. She has earned a Bronze Titan Pin Award. She also, also has been awarded the Jennifer McNutt Memorial Scholarship, valued at $5,000. She also has a University of Calgary President's Admission Scholarship, valued at $5,000. And only two nights ago, she was recognized as a Senior Sports Person of the Year. Well done, Sarah. Congratulations. And Sarah, before you step down, if you want to swing that tassel over to the left-hand side of your cap, you are now officially a graduate. Well done. And next, our newest Titan, earning a high school diploma, Josh McGinnis. Congratulations, Josh. If your family would like to join you up on stage, and you can move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap over to the left-hand side. You're our newest 2020-2021 Northeast Kings Titan graduate. Well done. And our next Northeast Kings Titan, earning a high school diploma, also earning honors with distinction, Chris McKinnon. Congratulations, Chris. You've also earned a subject award for energy, power, and transportation. And a subject award also for production technology. And a third subject award for skilled trades. Well done. Great job, Chris. If you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side of your cap as well, you are our newest Northeast Kings Titan graduate for the graduating class of 2020-2021.
And our newest Northeast Kings Titan <laughs> graduate earning his high school diploma with honors, Liam McLeod. Well Liam. Liam is also earning an Annapolis Valley Regional Center for Education Business Education Certificate. And Liam has been awarded a King's Local NSTU Scholarship valued at $600. Congratulations, Liam. And Liam, if you want to move the tassel over from the right-hand side of your cap to the left. You are now officially our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. And our next Titan earning a high school diploma and also honors with distinction. Congratulations, Brooke McNeil. And Brooke, you also are being awarded a subject award for English 12. Congratulations. Family, if you'd like to join on stage for some photos. For and Brooke, if you'd like to move your tassel over to the left-hand side, you can get some photos as an official graduate. Congratulations, Brooke. And our next Titan earning a high school diploma with honors, Owen McRae. Owen has also earned a French Immersion Certificate and has been awarded a St. Mary's University Football Scholarship valued at $7,600. Congratulations. <laughs> Family, come on up for some photos. And Owen, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left, indicating that you've moved from a candidate to a graduate uh, from the Northeast Kings class of 2021.
and her next Titan earning a high school diploma honors with distinction, Michaela Manalo. Congratulations. And Michaela, before you go too far, move that tassel over to the left-hand side of your cap, indicating you are now an official Titan graduate. Well done. Just wait right there. Just give everyone a chance to come up and be ready. And our next Northeast Kings Titan earning a high school diploma. Congratulations, Gavin Martin. You're all welcome up there, absolutely. The more the merrier, whoever wants to be up there. Gavin, while your family's joining, if you wanna move that tassel over to the left-hand side of your cap, that will indicate you are officially graduated. Congratulations, Gavin. Looks like the family's ready. Our next Titan to celebrate with a high school diploma with honors, Mr. Zachary Martin. Masters, I apologize, Zach. <laughs> Good job, Zach. Zach is also awarded the Options and Opportunities Certificate. Well earned.
And Zach, while your family is heading up to see you, if you want to move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left. You're our newest member of the graduating class of 2021 as a Titan grad. Well done. Our next Titan to celebrate, earning his high school diploma, honors with distinction, Ben McCulley. <laughs> ben, this might be the first setup I've seen in four years without your help putting it all together. Congratulations. Ben is also earning a French Immersion Certificate, a Subject Award for Histoire Planétaire, a Subject Award for Math 12, academic. Ben also is the recipient of a King's Local NSTU scholarship valued at $600. Also the recipient of King's North PC Association bursary valued at $750. We're not quite done, Ben. You also are the recipient of the Canning Fire Department 9-11 bursary valued at $911. And Ben also has an Acadia University Entrance Scholarship valued at $2,000, as well as an Acadia University Renewable Scholarship valued at $8,000. Well, well done, Ben. And Ben, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right over to the left-hand side of your cap, you are our newest Titan graduate, graduating class 2020-2021. Just one sec, Emma. <laughs> it's yours. It's coming. <laughs> We're going to hold it for you. And our next Titan to celebrate earning her high school diploma Congratulations, Emma McCulley.
That's yours, Emma. You earned it. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> How are you? Good. And Emma, before you step off the stage, move that tassel over to the left-hand side. And you are an official Titan graduate. Well done. And our next Titan to celebrate earning her high school diploma and also honors with distinction, Elizabeth McGraw. For her involvement in clubs, committees, and teams, Liz has also earned a bronze Titan pin award. And this year, she has earned a special Academic Integrity Staff Award valued at $500. Congratulations, Elizabeth. For all her hard work, Dalhousie University has also awarded Elizabeth an entrance renewable scholarship valued at $20,000. Congratulations. Family, join her on stage. Our best traveling family. And Liz, if you want to move your tassel over to the left-hand side, indicating you have moved from candidate to graduate of the 2020-21 graduating class. Family, if you'd like to come up. Northeast Kings would now like to celebrate graduating with her high school diploma, honors with distinction. Congratulations, Michaela Melanson. <laughs> Michaela has also earned her French immersion certificate as well as been rewarded with a subject award for English 12. Congratulations. And Michaela, while your family's joining you, if you'd like to move that tassel over to the left-hand side and get some photos as an official Titan grad.
Front row. <laughs> Our next Northeast Kings Titan earning a high school diploma and also honors with distinction, Victoria Merritt. And also congratulations to Victoria for earning a University of Kings College entrance scholarship valued at $5,000. Jump up on stage, family. And Victoria, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side of your graduation cap, that will mark you as our brand new Titan graduate. And our next Northeast Kings Titan to earn a high school diploma, Willem Moy. Well done, Willem. Congratulations. Your family would like to join you on stage for some photos. And you can move that tassel over to the left-hand side as our newest 2020-2021 graduate of Northeast Kings Education Center. Well done. You ready? <laughs> You've been ready. <laughs> Graduating with her high school diploma, Hannah Morgan. <laughs> Congratulations, Hannah. You have also earned your options and opportunity certificate. Well done.
Hannah, if you'd like to move your tassel from the right-hand side over to the left, you are our newest Titan graduate of the 2021 grad class. Congratulations, Hannah. Well done. And our newest Northeast Kings Titan earning a high school diploma, Bailey Morton. Congratulations, Bailey. And Bailey, if you want to move that tassel over to the left-hand side, indicating you are moving from candidate to graduate. Well done, Bailey. That's awesome. They're here to celebrate you. With the entourage ready, celebrating our newest Titan graduate, earning her high school diploma, Chloe Murray. Chloe is also part of our student support worker program and is wearing her kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. She's also a recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizenship Award that will be celebrated virtually on the 28th of June. <laughs> Chloe also has earned a Nova Scotia Education and Early Childhood Development University Entrance Scholarship for African Nova Scotian students, valued at $4,500. <laughs> and she also has an Acadia University Edwin Borden Entrance Scholarship, valued at $14,000. Congratulations, Chloe. Proud family, get up on stage. <laughs> Chloe. 
Chloe, you're not done crying yet. Move that tassel over to the left-hand side. It's official. You are a graduate. Time to celebrate our newest Northeast Kings Titan graduate earning her high school diploma with honors, Annika Miles. I think our first grad to run on stage. Congratulations. <laughs> Annika, while you're surrounded with some loved ones, if you want to move that tassel over to the left-hand side, you are our newest graduate. Erica too. And we're ready to celebrate our newest Titan, our next Titan to earn a high school diploma, Quan Nguyen. Quan is also a member of our Nova Scotia International Student Program and has been here for three years, earning all his credits as a Nova Scotia grad. Congratulations, Quan. And Quan, if you'd like to move that tassel from the right-hand side over to the left. You are a Nova Scotia graduate. Congratulations, Quan. <laughs> Catherine, are you going to join him on stage for a photo? No. <laughs>
Great job, Quan. And our next Titan that we will be celebrating, having earned a graduation diploma from Nova Scotia with honors, Michael O'Leary. Congratulations, Michael, and if you'd like to move that tassel over to the left-hand side, you are our newest Titan graduate. Congratulations. Graduating with honors, Cameron Oikel. Cameron is also receiving a subject award for Business Management 12. He is receiving a bronze Titan pin for his work with extracurriculars here at our school over the last three years. And he was recognized two nights ago as our Senior Sports Person of the Year. Congratulations, Cameron. Family, if you'd like to come up on the stage and get a photo with that new grad in your family, this would be a perfect time. Cameron, while you're surrounded with loved ones, it would only be fitting for you to move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate. You are the newest graduate from the graduating class of 2020-2021 from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Cameron. Come on up front, folks. Miguel, I've got you, buddy. Just listen and you'll be good. Graduating with his high school diploma, IPP, Miguel Parker. Come on, folks. Grab that. Go to the center of the stage. Miguel is part of our student support worker program and is wearing his kinte cloth, showing pride in self, race, 
culture, and ancestry. Miguel also received a subject award for Career Access English 12, as well as another subject award for his life sciences course. Congratulations, Miguel. And if you'd like to come on up on stage, we can get a nice family photo. And Miguel, while you're surrounded with that loving family, if you could care to move your tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left, signifying that you have the tassel. Yeah. The newest graduate from the 2020-2021 Northeast Kings Education Center graduating class, Miguel Parker. Congratulations, Miguel. Graduating honors with distinction, Sarah Parsons. Sarah is also receiving her French immersion certificate, and she is receiving a silver Titan pin for all of her work with extracurriculars here at Northeast Kings over the last three years. She has received a University of Ottawa admission scholarship for $4,000. A couple of evenings ago, she was the Nova Scotia School Athletic Federation Scholar Athlete recipient for our school. And Sarah is receiving the Queen Elizabeth II Medal for the most outstanding all-round student in her graduating class. Congratulations, Sarah. <laughs> now time for that family photo op. And Sarah, while you're surrounded with all that love, if you could care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you have officially graduated from Northeast Kings Education Center. Our newest grad from the 2020-2021 graduating class at Northeast Kings Education Center, Sarah Parsons.
112. Finally got dressed, did you? Finally got dressed? Okay, good. Why don't you get some staff over here to help you? Come right up. You have the best seats in the house because it's your son who's graduating. Graduating with honors, Christopher Peach. Chris is also wearing our AP Diploma sash, and we're hoping when he gets his grades back next month, he will be an AP Capstone Diploma recipient. Now for that family opportunity for the photo. Great photo. And Christopher, while you're surrounded with love, could you please move that tassel from the right side of your cap, swing it over to the left side of your cap, signifying you going from candidate to graduate. May I introduce to you the newest graduate from Northeast Kings Education Center's 2020-2021 grad class, Christopher Peach. Grandmother, we will wait as long as she needs. No, no problem. We can bring great grandmother closer. Is that fine? All right, we want her to have the best seat possible. Everyone else in the entourage, you can come up if you'd like. We want you to have the best seat in the house. You only graduate from high school once, and this is a very special student graduating. Graduating honors with distinction, Riley Pearl. <laughs> While you're taking some photos, Riley is receiving the subject award for Biology 12. She's receiving a subject award for Economics 12. She's receiving a subject award for Sociology 12. Riley is also receiving the Bill Wade Memorial Scholarship valued at $4,500. And Riley also is receiving the Sobe National Innovator Scholarship at St. Mary's University worth $50,000. Congratulations, Riley. Family, if you'd like to come up on the stage and get a nice uh, photo of your newest grad in the family. And Riley, while you're surrounded with the love of your family, could you please take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap? Swing it over to the left, signifying a graduate from Northeast Kings Education Center. May I present to you the newest graduate from Northeast Kings 2020-2021 grad class, Riley Pearl. Call you up, you're gonna grab your diploma, and then go to the center of the stage and hold it there for some photos. Got it? All right. Graduating honors with distinction, Eden Penny.
Eden is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate, as well as the lively Oracle Scholarship valued at $500. At Acadia University, she's receiving the Windy Seaman Memorial Scholarship valu valued at $1,795. And she also has received a Renewable Scholarship from Acadia University valued at $16,000. Congratulations, Eden. And if you'd like to go up on the stage and get a photo with Eden. All right, now, Eden, if you care to move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap to the left-hand side of your cap, you have just become the newest graduate from our graduating class of 2020-2021. Congratulations, Eden. Graduating with her high school diploma, Maddie Pinio. <laughs> and now, if you'd like to come up on stage, we'll get that special moment caught with Maddie. And Maddie, while you're surrounded with some love, if you could move that tassel from the right-hand side of your cap, swing it over to the left side, signifying you going from candidate to graduate. May I introduce to you the newest graduate from Northeast King's Education Center for the 2020-2021 grad class, Maddie Pinio. Smart lady, thank you very much. All right. All right, graduating with her high school diploma, IPP, Rachel Powell. And folks, if you'd like to get up on stage to get a picture of Rachel. And Rachel, while you're up there getting those photos, if you could move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Rachel.
Move right over to the front of the stage. You folks need to get the best seat in the house. This is a big moment. Graduating with her high school diploma, Brooke Purchase. And while Erica is getting a couple of those beautiful family photos with Brooke, Brooke, if you would move your tassel from the right side of your cap and swing it over to the left side, signifying you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Brooke. All right, you uh, Parker Pike fans that are out there, come on up to the front of the stage. Parker, stay right there. Wait till we get up there. How you doing? Good? Awesome. Without further ado, graduating with honors, Parker Pike. Parker, grab your diploma. You go to the center of the stage, pose your photo. And Parker, while you're surrounded by that loving family, if you could take your tassel and move it from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, you are our newest grad from our 2020-2021 grad class. Let's get a couple more photos. It's a special moment, so let's get those photos. Congratulations, Parker. <laughs> Exit stage right, Parker. How you doing, Jamal? Excited for this. Graduating honors with distinction, Jamal Racky. Jamal is also part of our student support worker program, and he's wearing his kente cloth today, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Jamal is also receiving a subject award for Math at Work 12, a subject award for Music 12. 
He is also receiving a Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizenship Award, and that will be recognized on the 28th of this month by our Lieutenant Governor of Nova Scotia. He's also received the Principal's Choice Award, valued at $250, a Northeast Kings Education Center Student Council Bursary, valued $250, a Nova Scotia Education and Early Childhood Development University Entrance Award for African Nova Scotia students, valued at $4,500, and a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship valued at $18,100. Congratulations, Jamal. And if your loving family could come up on the stage to get a picture of their newest graduate, there's one in the making, I know, that's coming up as well. And Jamal, while you are surrounded with that loving family, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the newest graduate from the 2020-2021 grad class, Jamal Racky. All right, you're gonna, when I call your name up, you'll then grab your diploma and hold it open in the center of the stage, the photos, then we'll call your family to come up too and get some photos, and then finally we'll let you take off. Okay, Exci exciting moment for you. Is all your family up front there right now? Beautiful. You need the best seat in the house, Dad. Graduating honors with distinction, George Rabahi. You're welcome. George, you look a little lonely up there. Could we uh, maybe get some family members to come up and uh, get a photo? with their newest graduate in the family. And George, while you're surrounded with all the love, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate from Northeast Kings Education Center, ladies and gentlemen, our newest graduate from our graduating class, George Rabahi. Graduating honors with distinction, Annika Rafuse. Annika is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate when she leaves the stage. A subject award for English 12 as being the most outstanding student in that course. A silver Titan pin for all of the all work that she's done in our extracurricular activities here at our school over the last three years. She's receiving a Dow Bound bursary from Dalhousie University valued at $500. A renewable bursary from Dalhousie University valued at $4,800. And also a renewable entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University valued at $14,000. Congratulations, Annika. And Annika, if your family would like to come up on the stage, we could love to get a photo of you surrounded with all that love.
And Annika, as they're getting that last family photo, if you care to move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate, you are the newest graduating member of our grad class for the 2020-2021 grad class. Congratulations, Annika. May I introduce graduating with honors IPP, Ivan Rand. Yep. To the center of the stage, holding it open. Ivan is also receiving a subject award for being the most outstanding student in his Science 12 class. Congratulations, Ivan. And folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage and get a picture with your newest grad in the family. And Ivan, while you're surrounded with that loving family, if you care to move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast Kings Education Center. Our newest grad through the 2020-2021 grad class, Ivan Rand. Graduating with his high school diploma, Morgan Randall. Morgan, while you're being surrounded with that lovely family, if you care to move your tassel from the left side of your cap to the right side of your cap, signifying you have graduated from Northeast Kings Education Center. Let's get some grandparents up there as well. The newest graduate from Northeast Kings Education's 2020-2021 grad class, Morgan Randall. One more photo.
Graduating honors with distinction, Zachary Raymond. Zach is also receiving the, today the Nova Scotia Freemasons Bursary from Kenful Lodge No. 58, valued at $1,500. He is also receiving a Memorial University of Newfoundland National Entrance Scholarship, valued at $2,550. Congratulations, Zach. And now for the family photo. And Zach, now that you're between two proud parents, if you'd like to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you have now officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Zach. All right, Emma's here. Stop sign there, Emma. We're going to wait till your family gets front and center before we get going. Feeling good? Awesome. This is your moment, so enjoy. Come on up, folks. You can get closer. Get the cameras out. Start filming. This only happens once at high school. Emma will be graduating from university as well, hopefully from Dow. <laughs> graduating honors. With distinction, Emma Reeves. <laughs> Emma has also received a subject award for being the most outstanding student in Sociology 12, and she has received a Dalhousie University Entrance Renewable Scholarship valued at $20,000. Congratulations, Emma. All right, folks, come on up on the stage and get that special photo. And Emma, while you're there, surrounded by a couple of proud family members, could you move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left? signifying you going from candidate to official graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. May I present to you the newest graduate from our 2020-2021 grad class, Emma Reeves. Thank you, sir. You know, it's a special moment. I only wear this when I get married and when I graduate too. So when I call your name up, Michael, you'll grab your diploma sitting there on the table. You'll hold it, go to the center of the stage and hold it in front of you. And then we'll have three people taking pictures of you. And then I'm going to ask your family to come up as well, okay? Special moment. Looks like mom's here. All right, beautiful. Hey, we've got some cheering squad out there for you. So good work, buddy. Good work. This is your moment, so enjoy it, okay? <laughs> awesome. Just getting the iPad or the tablet opened up. No 
No one heard that, Mike. Okay. All right, graduating honors, IPP, Mike Rodding. Mike is also receiving a subject award for his English 12 IPP class. And we'll get, we'll get that family photo with mom. And finally, Mike, if you could take your tassel that's on your cap and move it from the right side and swing it over to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast Kings Education Center. Our newest graduate, Mike Rodding. Graduating honors with distinction, Lucas Robichaud. Lucas will also be receiving an entrance scholarship from Acadia University valued at $2,000, and he's also received a renewable scholarship from Acadia University valued at $8,000. Congratulations, Lucas. And now we'll get a special photo of this special moment. And Lucas, while you're surrounded with all that love, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you going from candidate to graduate from Northeast Kings Education Center. Northeast Kings Education Center's newest grad, Lucas Robichaud. Rock and roll. Graduating with their high school diploma, Asa Rollins. Asa is also part of our student support worker program here at Northeast Kings and is wearing her kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Asa is also the recipient of the Lieutenant Governor Respectful Citizenship Award, and that's being presented to her by the L Lieutenant Governor of Nova Scotia on the 28th of this month. As well, Asa has received the Royal Canadian Legion Habitant Branch Number 73 Bursary, valued at $500. Congratulations, Asa. And folks, if you'd like to go up on the stage and get some photos with Asa, your newest grad in your family, this will be the perfect time for it. Congratulations. I know, it's okay, we got them. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
There are some nice flowers, aren't they? Just don't pick them. Asa, if you could move that tassel while you're surrounded with all that love from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap, that officially makes you an official graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Congratulations, Asa. Ethan's fan club, come on up front and center. Not yet. I'll call you up. Hold on, hold on. Let them get there, get the cameras out, ready to go. When I call your name, forward, and grab your diploma, and hold it open and go to the center of the stage for pictures, and then I'll ask the family to come up as well. Okay? So give you a moment, so enjoy this, Ethan, okay? All right. <laughs> Graduating with his high school diploma, Ethan Rolston. Ethan is also receiving the Canning and District Recreation Commission bursary valued at $500. Congratulations, Ethan. And if the family would like to come up, get a few photos, we can certainly do that. Looks like a great family photo. Ethan, while you're surrounded with all that love, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate, the newest graduate from our 2020-2021 grad class, Ethan Rolston. Congratulations, Ethan. Emily, come right up to the stop sign. <laughs> when I call your name, you'll grab your diploma sitting on the table here, go to the center of the stage holding it for a photo, then we'll call the family up after. This is your moment, so you enjoy it. And even though your moms and dads want it more, you enjoy this uh, it's special time. All right, our cameras are on. Graduating honors with distinction, Emily Rutt. <laughs> Emily is also receiving a subject award for pre-calculus 12, a silver Titan pen award for all of the extra work that she's done with our extracurricular activities here at Northeast Kings over the last three years a Duke of Edinburgh bronze, a Public School Administrators Association of Nova Scotia bursary valued at $500, and a Royal Canadian Legion Habitant Branch number 73 bursary valued at $250. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> and folks, Emily, stay right there. If you'd like to come up and get a photo of the family with you, you want to do it together? After, okay, perfect. Graduating honors with distinction, Katie Rutt. <laughs> Kate is also receiving a subject award for film and video production 12, a subject award for psychology 12. She is receiving a silver Titan pin for all of the work that she does behind the scenes extracurricularly at our school. A Royal Canadian Legion Habitant Branch Number 73 bursary valued at $250, and a Public School Administrators Association of Nova Scotia bursary valued at $500. Congratulations, Katie. 
So folks, do you want to get the photo up on the stage? So Katie and Emily, if you'd like to move your tassels from the right side of your caps to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate, may I introduce to you the two newest graduates from Northeast King's Education Center's 2020-2021 grad class, Katie Rutt and Emily Rutt. <laughs> and now a family would like to come on up. Scooch on in, everyone. That looks like a beautiful family photo. Congratulations, Emily and Katie. All right, Xander's fan club, let's get you front and center. Come on up right in front of the stage. We want you to have the best seat in the house. Graduating with his high school diploma, Xander Sabine. Grab that diploma, go to the center, and pose for photos. And folks, if you'd like to go up on the stage and get a family photo with your new grad, it'd be the perfect time. Hello. You do like to sing. You should sing right now. Oh, I love that age. And Xander, while you're surrounded with all that love, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you going from candidate to graduate, may I introduce to you the newest grad member of our 2020-2021 grad class, Xander Sabine. Awesome, you, you sound like a good singer. Congratulations, Xander. How you doing? Good. This is your this is your moment, so enjoy this. Okay? Okay. All right, well, you're not the only one that's been shaking coming up here. When I call your name, come up and grab your diploma. It's sitting on the table here. Hold it in front of you. Go to the center of the stage for photos. And then I'll call up the family if they want to get photos as well. Okay? Awesome. Enjoy it. All right, the Austin Fan Club, come on up front. We want you to have some great seats. Just stay right there. Austin, they get in place and get their cameras on, and then we'll send you, okay? Graduating with his high school diploma, Austin Sanford. Austin is also receiving the Royal Canadian Legion Habitat Branch Number 73 Bursary valued at $500, a Dalhousie University AP Prize valued at 
and a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship for $2,000. Congratulations, Austin. <laughs> Folks, if you'd like to come up on the stage and get a photo with your newest grad, And Austin, while you're surrounded with that beautiful family, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center, may I produce or present to you the newest grad member, Austin Samford. get in place exactly so we'll just wait till they can get out to the so we can get some photos and then when I call your name you can grab your diploma walk to the center of the stage holding it for photos then I'll call the family up on the stage if they want for photos as well before we send you okay congratulations this is your moment so enjoy it Graduating with his high school diploma, Liam Sarsfield. <laughs> Liam is also receiving an Acadia University Renewable Scholarship, valued at $2,000, and an Acadia University Residence Scholarship, valued at $2,500. Congratulations, Liam. If you'd like to get up on stage to get a photo with your newest grad member, and Liam, while you're surrounded with all the love, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate, may I introduce to you the newest graduating class member from our 2020-2021 grad class at Northeast King's Education Center, Liam Sarsfield. All right, the uh, Schneer family, come on up. We want to get you in a better seat than that. <laughs> get those cameras out and get them on. Love 
lights, camera, and action. Graduating with honors, Eric Schneer. Family, if you'd like to come up on the stage, we'll let Erica will take some photos for you. And Eric, while you're surrounded with that beautiful family, if you'd like to take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap over to the left side, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. Our newest graduate from 2020-2021 grad class, Eric Schneer. Do it. Graduating with his high school diploma, Colby Schofield. Yep. Yep. Come on up, Colin Melinda. All right, Colby, you got that love surrounding you right now. If you'd like to move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you've gone from a candidate at our school to an official graduate from Northeast King's Education Center. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest grad member, er or Colby Schofield. All right. Graduating with his high school diploma, Connor Scott. All right, if you'd like to come up and get a family photo of your new grad. We got a green light. All right, Adrian, good to go? All right. Graduating honors with distinction, Aiden Selfridge. <laughs> Aiden will also be receiving his French Immersion Certificate, finishing his program here at our school. Congratulations, Aiden. If we'd like to get the family, the rest of the family up. A 
and Aiden, as you're surrounded with all that love, if you could move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. May I present to you the newest grad member from our 2020-21 cl grad class, Aiden Selfridge. Cam, how you doing? Good. When I call you up, just come up, grab your diploma jacket that's sitting on the table, go to the center of the stage, and just look good. Okay? This is your moment, so shine. Graduating honors with distinction, Cameron Smith. <laughs> Rocking the Jordans as well. Folks, if you'd like to come up on the stage, we'd get a family photo. That looks like a great picture. Cameron, while you're surrounded with all the love in the family, if you could move the tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate and now are the newest graduating member from our grad class 2020-2021. Cameron Smith, newest grad member. Well done, Cam. Don't be nervous. You're a rock star, remember that. All right, graduating with honors, Kyle Smith. All right, family, go on, come on up on the stage. Get a photo of your newest grad. And Kyle, since you're surrounded with all that love up there, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, you have officially become a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. May I present to you the newest grad class member for the 2020-21 grad class, Kyle Smith. Max, how you doing? Awesome, awesome. This is your moment to really shine, okay? When I call your name up, come on up and grab your diploma jacket that's on the table there, and then go to the center of the stage, holding it out for photos, and then I'll call family up as well. All right, the Max Smith fan club, let's get you front and center. You need to have the best seats in the house. Lights, camera, and action. Graduating with their high school diploma, Max Smith. Max is also receiving the Evangeline Chapter Number 15 Order of the Eastern Star Memorial Education Scholarship. <laughs> it's valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Max. And family, if you want to go up on the stage and get a picture with Max. And Max, while you're surrounded with all the love, if you could move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. 
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the newest grad class member, Max Smith. Congratulations, Max. How you doing, Nolan? Good. Listen, when I call your name up, just grab your diploma jacket from the table there, walk to the center of the stage, hold your diploma open until we take some photos, and then we'll ask the family to come up and get some photos as well. This is your moment, so rock it. All right, let's get those cameras turned on. You good to go? Awesome. We don't want to miss this special moment. Graduating with honors, Nolan Smith. Nolan is also receiving his Options and Opportunity Certificate for finishing up his O2 program. As well, he's receiving a Subject Award for being the top co-op 12 student. Congratulations, Nolan. And if folks would like to come up on the stage to get a little keepsake of this special moment. And Nolan, as you're literally surrounded with love, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left. May I present to you the newest grad class member for 2021, Nolan Smith. How are you doing, please? Good. When I call you up, you're going to grab your diploma that's on the table. You're going to walk up to the middle of the stage. You're going to act like a rock star and get all kinds of photos. And then I'll call family up as well. Okay? Enjoy this moment. All right, cameras are on. Graduating honors with distinction, Paige Smith. <laughs> Paige is also part of our student support worker program here, and she is wearing her kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Paige is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate after finishing our French Immersion Program here at Northeast Kings. Paige is also receiving the Candace Parker Memorial Award valued at $500. And she's also received from the University of New Brunswick the Edwin Jacobs Special University Scholarship valued at $4,000. Congratulations, Paige. <laughs> and if family would like to get up on the stage to get a photo with your new grad, don't be shy. And Paige, while you're surrounded with all that love, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you have gone from candidate to graduate. May I present to you the newest grad class member of 2021, Paige Smith. Congratulations, Paige. So folks, when I call you up, you come up and grab your diploma that's sitting on the table there. You're going to walk to the center of the stage. You're going to hold it down, open so we can take some photos. And then we're going to ask family to come up and get a photo after that as well. All right? You nervous? Don't be nervous. You're a superstar, okay? This is your moment. Wait till they get those cameras on, and then we'll get started, okay? All right, cameras are on. Graduating honors with distinction, Sophie Stockfis. <laughs> Sophie is also receiving a subject award for Co-op 12. 
She has received the Northeast Kings Education Center student bursary or student council bursary valued at $250. Sophie has also been selected as the most outstanding student award presented by White's Family Funeral Home valued at $250. She's also received the Royal Canadian Legion Habitant Branch number 73 bursary valued at $500. She's also received a Kinfo Lions Club bursary valued at $500. And Acadia University sees in her something that we do as well, giving her a renewable entrance scholarship valued at $8,000. Congratulations, Sophie. And Sophie, if your family would like to come up and get uh, a picture during this very special time. And Sophie, as you're surrounded with love, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left side of the cap, signifying you have become a graduate from Northeast Kings Education Center. May I present the newest grad class member, Sophie Stockfist. All right, Suffren fan club, let's get that camera open and on. Graduating with honors, Ryan Suffren. <laughs> Ryan has also received a bronze Titan pen for his work with extracurriculars here at the school over the last three years. And a couple of nights ago, he was recognized as our Senior Sports Person of the Year. Congratulations, Ryan. And a family would like to come up and get a photo with their new grad. And Ryan, as you're surrounded with the love of your family, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying that you've gone from candidate to graduate. May I present to you the newest grad class member for the 2020-21 school year, Ryan Suffren. Congratulations, Ryan. You can come up closer. You're supposed to have the best seat in the house for your, your boy's graduation. Graduating honors with distinction, Malcolm Sweet. Malcolm is also receiving an Acadia University Excellence Scholarship valued at $9,000. And he's also receiving an Acadia University Athletic Scholarship worth $16,000. Congratulations, Malcolm. And if family would like to get on the stage, get a photo with your new grad.
And Malcolm, while you're surrounded with that lovely family, if you would like to move your tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you have now officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. May I present to you the newest grad class member of the 2020-2021 grad class, Malcolm Sweet. And get the boys up here for a photo. This would never happen at a regular graduation, folks, so be thankful. Congratulations, guys. Abby, how are you? When I call you up, you'll walk forward and grab your diploma jacket off the table, and then go over to the center of the stage, hold the diploma open for photos. Okay? And then after that, we'll call family up to some photos as well. Because you are a rock star, and you're just going to rock your brother's heart, okay? All right. Family is here. F cameras are on. Let's go. Graduating honors with distinction, Abby Target. <laughs> Abby is also receiving her French Immersion Certificate after finishing our program here at Northeast Kings. She has been selected as a Subject Award winner for English 12, a Subject Award winner for Pre-Calculus 12, she has received the King's Hands Liberal Association Bursary, valued at $300. The University of King's College Entrance Scholarship, valued at $10,250. And Abby has been given the greatest honor of a graduate in a graduating class, receiving the Governor General's Medal as the highest academic standing in the entire grad class. Congratulations, Abby. All right, moms and dads, family members, if you'd like to come up on the stage, get some photos with Abby. This is that special moment time. And Abby, while you're surrounded with that lovely family, if you care to take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying you have just officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest grad class member for the 2020-2021 grad class, Abby Target. You can move up closer. You're supposed to have the best seat in the house for this. Graduating with honors, Emma Taylor. Oh, my apologies. Graduating with honors, Gracie Taylor. Gracie is also receiving the Royal Canadian Legion branch number 006 of Kenful, valued at $1,000. She's received an Acadia University, the Carl M. Ogilvy Scholar Bursary, valued at $1,000. And a residence scholarship from Acadia University, valued at $2,500. And she's also received a renewable scholarship from Acadia University, valued at $4,000. Congratulations, Gracie. And if we'd like to get the family up on the stage, get a photo. And 
And Gracie, while you're surrounded with that loving family, if you care to move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center, our newest grad, Gracie Taylor. Caitlin's entourage, come on up front and center. When I call Caitlin, when I call your name, just walk up and grab your diploma jacket, walk to the center of the stage holding it open, the photo, we'll announce a few things, and then we'll ask Kim to come up as well for photos, okay? Enjoy this. This is your moment. <laughs> Graduating honors with distinction, Caitlin Tompkins. Caitlin is also receiving our French Immersion Certificate for finishing our French Immersion Program here at Northeast Kings, a Subject Award for AP Biology, a Subject Award for Drama 11, a Subject Award for French 12, a Subject Award for Pre-Calculus 12. She's also received the UCT Blomidon Council Bursary valued at $500. And Caitlin is going to Dalhousie University in September. They have given her a renewable entrance scholarship val valued at $20,000. But they also understand how great she is in the performing arts. And we saw that when she sang our national anthem a couple of days ago at our athletic banquet. And Dalhousie is giving her the Fountain Performing Arts Scholarship valued at $24,000. Congratulations, Caitlin. All right, folks, if you'd like to get up on the stage and get a picture with Caitlin. Yeah, all of you, come on up. Take your time. And Caitlin, as you're literally surrounded with love, if you could take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you going from candidate to graduate, may I present to you the newest grad class member for 2020-2021 from Northeast King's Education Center, Caitlin Tompkins. Brad, how are you? Good. When I announce you to come up, you walk up and grab your diploma jacket and sit on the little table here. Walk to the center of the stage, holding it open so that we can take some photos. When your folks, so who's here with you? Awesome. We're going to let them get up here in front of the stage before we start, okay? You are a rock star, and you're going to do a great job with this, okay? So just relax. This is your moment. All right, let's get those cameras on. Let's get this special moment. Graduating with his high school diploma, Bradley Thorpe. <laughs> Folks, if you want to go up on the stage and get a photo with Bradley, Bradley, if you could move your tassel from the right side of your cap 
over to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate at our school to an official graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. The newest grad class member for the 2020-2021 school year, Bradley Thorpe. All right, Kesa. How you doing? Awesome. When I call your name up, you'll walk up on the little table here is your little diploma jacket. You'll pick up your diploma jacket, walk to the center, and holding it open for photos. Okay? So relax. We're going to be a pro at this. This is your special moment, so enjoy it. Congratulations, Bradley. All right, Kesa Fan Club, you can come up closer. Who's the little baby, Kesa? Who's the baby? Oh, that's awesome. Wow. All right, cameras all ready? Beautiful. Graduating with honors, Kesa Thorson. Kesa is also receiving our French Immersion Certificate for finishing our French Immersion Program. Congratulations, Kesa. <laughs> and now if you family members would like to come up on the stage and get some photos, we can organize that for you and Erica can take some pictures for you and you can come in stages if you'd like. And Kesa, if you would like to move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you've gone from a candidate to an official graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest grad class member for the 2020-21 school year, Kesa Thorson. Congratulations, Kesa. holding it open for photos to be taken, okay? So just relax, okay? You're going to be great. All right, camera ready, Bill? Beautiful. Graduating honors with distinction, Audrey Tran. <laughs> Audrey is a very special person because she's one of the very few Nova Scotia international student students that was allowed in Nova Scotia during the COVID pandemic. And we are very honored to have Audrey graduate from our school. So congratulations, Audrey. We're so pleased to have you here. And Audrey, as you're surrounded with Joanne and Bill, if you could take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you have gone from a candidate at Northeast King's Education Center to a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Ladies and gentlemen, our newest grad, Audrey Tran. Emmanuel, how you doing? Good, relax. Okay, good. Just 
relax. You're going to knock this out of the park. When I call you up, you'll walk up and pick up your diploma jacket that's on the little table here in front of you, and then go on the stage in the center, and then turn around with this jacket open so we can take some photos. Okay? So just relax. We're going to just get him there first, then we'll give you an opportunity. Graduating honors with distinction, Emmanuel Shamenga. <laughs> Emmanuel is part of our student support worker program here at Northeast Kings, and he's wearing his kente cloth, showing pride in self, race, culture, and ancestry. Emmanuel has received the subject award for Global History 12 for being the most outstanding student in that class. He's received the Julia Lewis Clark Memorial Award, valued at $150. He's, he's received the Acadia University Entrance Scholarship, valued at $4,215. And then he's also been given a renewable scholarship at Acadia University, valued at $10,000. Congratulations, Emmanuel. And now, family can come up for that wonderful family photo moment. Take the masks off. You're within your family bubble, so you don't need to have masks on. And Emmanuel, as you're surrounded literally with love, could you please take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap? signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate. And ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the newest grad class member for the 2020-2021 grad class, Emmanuel Shamenga. Theo, how are you doing? Good. When I call you up, after you make sure everyone's up front with cameras, just walk up, grab your diploma jacket off the little table, center of the stage, turn around, holding your diploma open for photos, okay? This is your special moment, so enjoy it, okay? All right, folks, you can come closer. Come on up. You are supposed to have the best seats in the house for this. This is Kale's special moment. Graduating with honors, Kale Vaughn. And family members, if you'd like to go up on the stage right now to get a photo with the, the newest grad in the family. You have time, so you can readjust if you'd like. And Kale, since you're surrounded with love right now, if you could take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. Ladies and gentlemen, our newest grad class member, Kale Vaughn. Graduating honors with distinction, Katie Vili. <laughs> and 
Katie is also receiving an Acadia University Entrance Scholarship valued at $10,000. Congratulations, Katie. And Katie, as you're surrounded by that loving family, if you'd care to move your tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left side of your cap, signifying you're going from candidate to graduate, you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. May I present to you the newest grad class member, Katie Vili. Everyone in the center here right now? Okay, good. We're just going to bring them up right to the front so they get the best pictures possible. And don't be shy. This is your moment to enjoy. Camera's ready. You're good to go? All right, graduating with her high school diploma, Heidi Wheeler. If you'd like to come up on the stage, and we'll get a picture of Heidi with the family. And Heidi, as you're surrounded and bookmarked in with loving family, could you move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left side of the cap, signifying that you have gone from candidate to graduate the newest grad class member of the 2020-2021 school year from Northeast King's Education Center, Heidi Wheeler. Graduating with their high school diploma, Brandy Williams. <laughs> if you'd like to come up and get a photo with Brandy, And Brandy, to make it official, if you'd like to move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you've gone from candidate to graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. The newest grad class member from Northeast King's Education Center, Brandy Williams. Graduating with their high school diploma, Madison Williams.
in Madison as you are surrounded with a loving family. If you could take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap, flip it to the left side, you have officially gone from a candidate to a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. The newest grad class member for 2020-2021 grad class of Northeast King's Education Center, Madison Williams. Long time no see, stranger. How's the last five months been? Yeah, you got some work in? Did you? Awesome. Okay, beautiful. And you're gonna be working through the summer? Yeah. Excellent. Did you save any money? Okay, beautiful. So, Kane, when I call you up, you just grab your diploma jacket off the table here, walk to the center of the stage holding it open so we can take some photos, and then we'll ask for the family to come up and get some photos as well. Okay? Is everyone here? Kelly was slow when I taught her in the back of Central King. Slow to get to class, really easy, quick to get out of class. Yeah. Hey, Kel. Cameras all ready? Beautiful. Graduating with his high school diploma, Kane Williams Bolter. And family, if you'd like to come up on the stage and get a picture with Kane, this is the perfect moment. And Kane, as you're surrounded with a loving family, if you could take that tassel and move it from the right side of your cap over to the left, signifying you've gone from a candidate to a graduate of Northeast King's Education Center. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest grad class member for 2020-2021 grad class from Northeast King's Education Center, Kane Williams Bolter. Just hold on. Wait till they get here. You want to give them the best seat in the house. Yeah, move up. Nope, nope. Hold on, Patrick. Cameras are all ready. All right, graduating with his high school diploma, Patrick Wilson. You want to come up on stage and get a photo with Pat? And Patrick, as you are surrounded with love, at this time, could you move that tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left side of your cap? signifying that you have officially graduated from Northeast King's Education Center. The newest grad class member from the 2020-2021 school year, Patrick Wilson. Congratulations, Patrick. Kirsten, I thought you were going to be the last grad, but then 
because Emma forgot the gown, so she had to go home, but she's going to be the gra last grasshopper. So you're in the, being, being a Woodworth, and you're not going to be the end of the alphabet, so that's good. Anyway, when I call you up, uh, you'll pick up your diploma jacket here on the table, go to the center of the stage holding it open, we'll do some photos, and then we'll ask the family to come up and get some photos as well. Okay? Don't be nervous. This is your special moment. Okay? Cameras all ready? Graduating honors with distinction, Kirsten Woodworth. <laughs> Kirsten is also receiving from Acadia University a renewable scholarship valued at $8,000. Congratulations, Kirsten. And if family members would like to go up on the stage and get a picture with Kirsten, Kirsten, you can step forward a little bit so that they can get beside you. And Kirsten, while you were surrounded with a bunch of proud, loving people, if you could move that tassel from the right side of your cap to the left right now, that just symbolizes that you have gone from candidate to an official graduate of Northeast Kings Education Center. And with this loving family around you, I need to present the newest grad class member for the 2020-2021 grad class from Northeast Kings Education Center, Kirsten Woodworth. <laughs> Congratulations, Kirsten. Once you get your family all in front with the cameras on, I'll call you up. We'll grab your diploma jacket off this small table, and you'll go to the center of the stage holding it open for photos, and then we'll ask the wonderful family to come up and get some photos with you as well. Okay? Don't be shy. This is, this is your moment. Cameras all ready? And our final grad class member for the 2020 2021 grad class, better late than never, <laughs> Emma Taylor, graduating with honors. <laughs> Emma is also a member of our O2 program, and so she'll be receiving her options and opportunity certificate. Congratulations with that, Emma. And family, if you'd like to get up on the stage and get that final photo of Emma before she officially graduates, this is the moment. Emma, as you are surrounded with love at this time, if you could move your tassel from the right side of your cap over to the left side, signifying that you've gone from a candidate at our school to a graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to present to you the newest and the last grad class member for 2020-2021, Emma Taylor.
Congratulations, Emma. This concludes the 2021 Northeast Kings Education Center graduation ceremonies. These graduates have endured the most challenging time ever in public school education and have responded with much grit and resilience, which will serve them well as they embark on their next stages of their lives. We want to wish them great health and much success in each endeavor that they take on. Thank you again for joining us for the celebration of these 157 graduates. This grad class had received $694,381, which was the second most in the history of the last 20 years. A very exceptional grad class. <laughs> Grads of 2021, congratulations on your accomplishments, and we wish you luck and success in all future endeavors. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Oh, the places you will go, neck edition. Congratulations, today is your day, but a reminder to say six feet away. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head and you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose, except for today. It's the grad loop you'll use. You're on your own, and you'll know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where you go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not-so-good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do. And then things start to happen. Don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up, great sights to await. You'll join the high flyers who soar to heights that are great. I had a quick dad joke here, but yet again, it was late. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true. Four years ago, it happened to you. Waiting for the bus with grade 12s with no cares. It takes 55 minutes, but the school's right over there. As you get off the bus and walk through the door, you're met with a scene, your jaw hits the floor. A sea of tall people. Oh, where are all your friends? Too late. The bell rings. Will high school ever end? How to find homeroom? It could be anywheres. And who knew so many people could fit on the stairs? You ask? Excuse me, where is room 204? Don't you know the 200s are on the second floor? You'll be late on day one, now ask me no more. You finally find it, heart beating hard as you enter. Beats triple time when your seat's front row center.
And if you go in for four years, you'll stay. As the teacher explains, you'll go through this four times a day. An eight-day cycle, what? This can't be true. Even the weeks in high school are longer too. And why is day one different than day two? In every single class, different teachers, different faces. Different times on different days, mostly in different places. The masses you can't find, your friends at lunchtime, and as lunch ends, you haven't made it through the lunch line. Hungry, you can't seem to get your locker combination. It's not your locker, wrong hall. Oh, the frustration. You got through the morning, maybe the afternoon will be better, but why do you sweat in one class and across the hall need a sweater? You begin to get anxious of four years at this place. You have entered the waiting place. For students just waiting, waiting for a tractor to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or an email to come, or the rain to go, or a text to ding, or the snow to snow, while waiting for a school canceled, yes or no, or waiting for the corn to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting, waiting for, for the, the fish, fish to bite, or, or waiting for the weather balloon flight, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Because we think you are awesome, Somehow you escaped, with diploma in your hand and a smile on your face. And that smile will remain as you remember the times that once seemed impossible on day one of grade nine. At the time, those sleepy days seemed like the worst, but you, re but you will miss asking, do I have you first? But remember, the April Fool's joke, banning cell phone was fake and at leadership camp when you fell in the lake. Oh, how you thought working on the hall floor was the best, despite having a perfectly good chair with a perfectly good desk. The day with the smell manuring in fall, it's just a septic backing up. Now get out of the hall. Forgot lots of homework, so told a few lies. Returned your jersey on time, once out of 22 tries. In staff versus grad, staff seemed impossible to best. But that hockey comeback, with eight skaters no less. Four years of struggles your Titan family believes. Go forward now, the world will help you succeed. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, like during a pandemic, feeling locked in a zoo. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. Like cramming for that math exam that's tomorrow. Read a novel in English. Oh, the sorrow. Life won't always have an audiobook you can borrow. But on you will go. Lessons well learned, my friend. Hearing Vino's reminder for a great safe weekend. On you will go, joining griffins and gators, turning foe into friend as they once were your haters. On you will go, through pencils made dull, you'll find a new best sharpener down a new hall. Like day one to homeroom, when you had no idea, four years would end far too soon. You'll get mixed up, of course, like you already know, like which day it is after being canceled for snow. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Remember your grit in all the places you'll be, and you'll never mix up B block with C. 
And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. COVID-19, March 13, grade guaranteed. Titan, you'll move mountains. It's finally here, your graduation day. Both mountains are waiting, so get on your way. But always remember your Titan family and know we will always be proud of you. Oh, the places you will be.